What's up, Tether Nation? Turkey season is here and we are super pumped. We're getting our gear ready to go and we are ready to hit the woods and chase us big old gobblers. So what better way to start off the turkey season than to go through an M2 vest rundown. I'm gonna show you exactly what I carry into the woods. I'm gonna show you my gun, what I use for calls, just what I carry every day in the turkey woods. So let's go. So let's start off with the gun. So I actually upgraded guns this year and uh, I picked up this Franke Affinity 3. I wanted to step up to a semi-automatic and that was the one that I picked and I'm really, really liking this gun. It shoots really, really well. You may notice a, something a little funky on this gun and that is my scope and camera setup. So you may have seen in the past, I actually like to run a a magnified optic on my turkey gun just to give me that little bit um, you know extra clarity and low light in the morning and then just that little bit of magnification really helps especially in brush so you can kind of identify things that you you may hit if you're if you're not paying attention and uh, it also helps identify the gobbler a little bit quicker so I just like to run a low magnification this is a vortex I think it's a 1.5 to 5 power so nice and wide, um, not a very big scope. I used it last year and really, really liked it. Now you'll notice something different here on the back. And this is a trigger cam 2.1. Now I've run through just about every uh, optic mounted camera that I could find here the past couple years and I have not liked any of them. But I stumbled on this thing on YouTube, did some research and uh, picked one up this spring. And this thing is totally awesome the ability to film through your scope exactly what you're seeing in really high quality is gonna be amazing. So for filming content, especially when you're self filming, I think this thing is gonna be really, really nice. So I did some shooting with it yesterday and uh, I'm really, really impressed with it. But yeah, I'm shooting the, uh, the Dave Owens Pinhoti choke out of it. It's a 585 constriction, a little bit more open and shooting my hand load TSS out of it. And uh, it throws a nasty pattern. So it's gonna be a great gun, I think, in the spring woods. All right, so with the gun out of the way, let's get right into the vest and what I'm carrying. You'll see that I'm actually running one of the horizontal pockets as a chest rig. Um, instead of running two on the hip belt, I've got one on my chest, one on my right hip, and I've got one of our vertical pockets on the left hip. So all of my like heav heavily used items are gonna be right here on my chest. So we'll start on the outside and work my way in. So on the outside and the stretch pockets, I've got uh, the Harrison Hooten stick, which, you know, I'm not as good as Shane Simpson, but always watching him use it, I was like, I gotta try one of those things, so. It's not bad, I don't think, but I've got the Harrison Hooten stick in the front. Get into the main pocket here, I've got the mouth call. Um, holder right here that holds my two cases of extra mouth calls and I actually got into making my own mouth calls this year and that's been a really really fun um, little side hobby but uh, right here beside it I've got the uh, the diaphragm holder which I've actually got three of them in that holder right now and these are going to be like my most used mouth calls so I'll keep those right there and uh, the one that I've really been liking here that I made here this past week is actually a ghost cut. It's a two and a half reed ghost cut, but then it's got this extra cut on the side, kind of like a combo cut. So you get kind of that rasp of the combo cut, but you can get that real clean front end um, that you get from a ghost cut. So I'll, I'll run through that here and show you what that sounds like. This is just a straight two and a half read um, ghost cut. Past that, I've got the uh, the pot call holder here in the front, and I've got a crystal over slate um, from JT Custom Calls. Let me 
flip it over and you've got the, the slate on the back. And again, I'm not the best at pot calls, but uh, that one sounds pretty good. Then from there, I've got my shotgun shells right here on the right. I've got three. Um, these are TSS loads that I've been loading myself this year. It's another thing that I got into here over the winter time. Yeah, that's a whole other rabbit hole you can dive down. Then from there, I've got, uh, got a range finder, which I'm actually gonna use in place of carrying binoculars. So that's the chest rig, and then we'll move over to my right hip. And in this one, I've got the, on the outside stretch pockets, that's where I'm gonna keep my face masks. And uh, I got two pair of gloves in here. I've got the First Light Merino, a little bit heavier weight. And then I've got some uh, thinner mossy oak with, you know, with the fingers cut out of them. So those are gonna live right here in the outside. Then on the inside, I've got, uh, I've got three more shells in there just for, just for some extras. If I shoot that many TSS loads in a day, I just need to go home and pack it up. Um, I've got a Coast rechargeable headlamp, a turkey tote that my buddy Lee lives here locally to me made for me and then besides that i've got another pot call from jt custom calls this is actually ceramic over crystal i believe and it's, it's a little bit higher pitched that's about it for that side pocket on this side here i'm going to use this as either my water bottle holder or my little coffee mug and i'm going to throw some snacks in here as well so i'm not going to carry a whole lot in this pocket but all right, so I pop the vest off here, and I actually don't carry much in the in the pack uh, that I wear on my back. I've been running the Night and Hail running gun for the past couple years, and it's set up very, very similar to this. Um, but what I typically did with that vest was I ran my decoy in this outside stretch pocket, which I've got a Montana collapsible hen. And I actually don't use decoys very often, but I carry one of these with me almost all the time just because it doesn't weigh anything packs down super small and it's very, very realistic looking. I've had a couple hunts where this made the hunt. I always carry it with me. I don't always put it out, but I like to have it just in case. And on the inside, I'm really not gonna be running that much. I'll probably uh, keep an extra layer in here. Um, maybe a few loose odds and ends for my camera gear, batteries, chargers, whatnot. And then on this outside pocket right here, I've got actually my tags in here. So my first trip of the year is California. So those are my California tags all ready to go. That's pretty much it. I don't carry a whole lot with me. I'm pretty much a minimalist turkey hunter. Honestly, a couple mouth calls and I would be good to go. One thing I'll show you real quick is with this horizontal pocket, if you wanna run it on your chest like this, you can put the malice clips um, through the molly on the back like this and then you just run your sternum strap through these malice clips and it holds it in place just really, really nice. Another little tip I'll show you, if you're wearing a hoodie like this that has the pass-through pocket on the front, you can actually buckle your waist belt on the inside of that pocket. So that covers up that buckle so there's nothing to make noise and you can still put your hands in your pockets. So that is my M2 vest setup. I'm super excited to use it this season. So stay tuned, we're gonna be dropping more videos of other guys and how they load and use their vest. So be on the lookout for those and be on the lookout for some awesome, hopefully turkey hunting content coming up here in the next few weeks.